So here's a real quick post, a real entertaining one about a guy whose girlfriend of a few years out of nowhere started bringing up the idea and showing him articles about alternative lifestyles. You know, <clears throat> polyamorous relationships, open marriages, open relationships, swinging, that type of thing. And ultimately, her wanting to mix things up because clearly she wasn't happy completely backfired and blew up in her face. And I thought it'd be a good one to go show you guys just how often these things uh, do not work out, obviously. And usually best when the girl brings it up, you move on. But in this situation, it completely backfired on her in a way she never expected. And this guy's actually wondering if he's the villain in this story, which you're about to see. Titled, Am I the a-hole for starting dating the gal from the three-something? And a shout out to Archer for sending me the story. He says, my ex-girlfriend and I were together for six years before she started talking about showing me and showing me articles about humans are inherently monogamous, about open relationships, swinging, swappers, poly, and throuples. I never shared her enthusiasm, and I told her I, I pretty, I'm pretty much happy with how things are and wasn't sure if I liked experimenting. Well, there you go. You're with her and just her on purpose. It's amazing how these gals bring this up. They see articles, they hear their other friends yapping about this stuff, but in reality, she doesn't love her guy. She's not happy with him, and she wants her cake and eat it too. So she can have the stability of him as her boyfriend, maybe as a husband one day, and obviously his resources, but she can go have fun with other dudes. Selfish as can be. And no woman that loves her guy is ever going to do that. Now watch this. Anyway, she started talking to a gal, and she suggested a three-something on my birthday. Sounds to me that she obviously has a thing for tuna, and this is her way of getting it. It was great, so he went through with this, but my ex changed afterwards and was depressed and talked about never wanting that again. Maybe that was her way of experimenting with the girl, but guess what? She threw away this relationship the second she brought that stuff up. The relationship did not recover afterwards because she would always have angry fits and accuse me of all sorts of things, and we ended things. Okay. He did what she wanted to do, the three-something, but clearly she didn't have to twist his arm that much for that, you know? And how she met that girl is certainly questionable here. But guess what? It made things worse. Shocker. These things don't work out. Angry fits and drama and accused him of things. And, and we ended things, he said. Well, of course she did. That's where things were going to go. Now, for a year, I've been seeing this the other girl from the threesome. How about that? How about that blowing up in her face? She's just amazing in every way, and I'm head over heels in love with her. Smack! Easy, my friend. If she had no problem jumping in being in a threesome with you, that means she probably likes this stuff, and it's only a matter of time before it comes up again. You, well, remember that. You can't turn an HOE into a housewife. The most important is that she doesn't want to experience anything other than the twosome and only agreed to the threesome because she liked me when my ex-girlfriend showed her who I was. Apparently I went to the same university and she thought I was hot too though. So this kind of goes back to the Al Bundy, the, the, tr the truly the you know founder of various things that uh, don't try to understand women. When, uh, women understand women. They hate each other. And you're about to see this in a moment. She saw this guy like, ooh, I liked him. And she slithered in. About a year after dating, we were ready to make it official when my ex heard that she and I, she, that I had cheated on her. What do you mean you cheated on her? She always knew that, that and that I was the a-hole for ending up with a woman who ended our relationship. I'm confused, feel a bit guilty, but I can't see how this is cheating. How are you cheating on her? She's the one that wanted to open up the relationship with throuples and swinging and all that stuff like that. And she found this gal, brought the gal to the bedroom. You obliged. Sure, you had fun. Things weren't working out with the two of you. And then you broke up. And now you're seeing her. But now her interpretation is, oh, it's her fault. No, the relationship ended because of her actions. I reached out to this girl three months after my ex moved out. And yes, I was the one who broke up with her. But it came after the relationship was so deteriorating that she would fight me and cry multiple times a week. Am I the a-hole? No, you're not the a-hole. You were the a-hole for going along with this cockamamie plan in the beginning. You should have broken up with her, but you did. And it blew up in her face. And she's pissed off because it didn't work out. But obviously the relationship had problems prior to the whole threesome. And the relationship, it didn't fix things. Big surprise. And then when enough was enough, you ended it with her. Any sane person would. But now it's easy for her to blame you know, now here's the thing, guys. The comment section is divided. You got a lot of people saying she's the one that screwed this thing up. 
you didn't cheat on her, blah, blah, blah. And you got other ones saying that you are the jerk for getting involved with that girl anyway. Or that she knew what she was doing, blah, blah, blah. And interesting, the ones that are calling him the a-hole have uh, Reddit handles that sound like they're girls. Imagine that. So I'm going to read some here before I wrap this up. This guy says, not the a-hole. This is a classic case of FAFO. There are risks when you open the relationship, and she was the one who insisted on introducing another person in the relationship. Bingo. Besides, I don't know why she's mad at you for cheating. According to her, humans aren't supposed to be monogamous anyway. Right, let's not forget about that crap. Humans aren't supposed to be monogamous, so what's the problem? Another one. This is one mad at him. This is from a girl. She says, you are the a-hole, and so is the new girlfriend. The ex made a mistake. It happens. That wasn't a mistake. No, 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 no. Here we go. You know it's a woman. They say it's a mistake. This is a well-planned thing. She probably was cheating already ahead of the guys or gals in mind. Seeing you with another woman sparked insecurities she didn't know were there. You two needed to see a therapist, for fuck's sake. And you dumped her for it. Then you got with a woman she, that she saw you be intimate with as those insecurities came alive. The fuck is wrong with you to not see how sick this is? Yeah, you're the a-hole. This is from a woman. Um, this was her idea. And you can't tell me she'd have insecurities before. You, know, you can't tell me she didn't think she'd have issues seeing him with another woman here? No. She made her own bed. Now she's still lying. She continues on. She says, your new girlfriend is gross. She tricked your ex. Your ex never would have chosen this woman for a threesome if she knew she had an ulterior motive or that she already had a thing for you. Your girlfriend knows that and knew that. Watch out for sneaky, dishonest, conniving women like her, but you deserve what you get. She said, sneaky, dishonest, conniving women. You mean like his ex? Now I'm going to say this gal is, is interesting, this gal he's with. I guess saw a picture of him, thought he was hot, or maybe recognized him. Who, who knows what the story, the real story is. But yeah, she definitely did kind of slither in, I'll say that. And I don't agree with him making her serious for obvious reasons, because the second she gets bored with him, oh, well, let's have three somethings, open relationships. But the point is, the, the, the person that caused this whole mess is this dude's ex-girlfriend. But this girl here, who probably just seems like it's hitting a little too close to home, is taking issue. Another one, this is from a dude. He says, laughing my ass off, imagining suggesting a threesome, and then whining when it doesn't go well. Yeah, imagine that. This is exactly why I never, I never want a third person involved in my relationship or the bedroom in any capacity. She fucked about and found out. You do not appear to have done anything wrong, not the a-hole. I agree. Believe me, guys, and I and I think you guys know this at this point. If this guy was doing something wrong, I would call him on it. Here's another one. This is, I think, from a woman. People like to bash on women who dare to think non-monogamy could work and love to see her fail and suffer. Um, because those women usually are the ones that have caused a good relationship or a good guy to crumble. So, of course, we laugh when it fails. If what could have had been just a bad experience turned into something traumatic that ruined the whole relationship, I feel, you know it's a girl when they say I feel, or it's a soy boy, I feel like we're missing her point of view on what happened and OP might have not behaved so nicely. No, I'm not buying If she's bringing that stuff up, uh, if she really was unhappy with him, she should have broken up with him. But no, she wanted to have the cake and eat it too. That's how these things go. Or she's already cheating. How do I know? Because I've been doing this on YouTube for four and a half years. I have close to 3,100 videos of all sorts of human drama. Lots of open relationship, poly crap type of stories. And they all pretty much go the same way. Another one. Not the a-hole at all. Your ex wanted to justify multiple partners and arranged it. Then it didn't work out as she had imagined and couldn't handle it, leading to the breakup of your relationship. She is 100% responsible for the outcome. You can thank her for introducing you to a better match, but you have nothing to feel guilty about. And one more. This guy says, not the a-hole. Your ex wanted this, so how could you have cheated? Also, I'd be careful with this new girl because she's willing to do a three-something that she might be again, even though she says she does not. I don't know. It seems kind of sketchy to me. I agree with that. I'd be very careful. Very careful giving your heart to this girl here. Maybe she doesn't want anybody else now because it's still early on, the honeymoon stage, even if it's a year. This guy's obviously doing everything right on her checkbox of things, but the second this guy might start slipping up and in her eyes and she starts losing attraction, very much can go back to her old way. So, you know, but it's his life, but his question was about his ex, if he's the a-hole, and I don't think he's the a-hole here, so there you go. So, I wish this guy the best.